Right in back. I, I have a long history of Democrat politics. I was born into the Democrat Party, and I've been faithful to it because it's been faithful to me. And I find that when we find a good, good, strong woman candidate, we've had them in the past, and we've elected them judges. We've, uh, we just had a mayor elected in Clark Summit, a woman. And we're very, very proud to have Katie McGinty running for governor. It's going to be a wonderful thing for our state and for everyone. So <laughs> welcome to Penn State, to our uh, Lackawanna County and lots Go of get support. It. All right. Go get it. Give it up for Well, now that from the person who almost single-handedly brought Clark Summit from you couldn't find a Democrat anywhere around till we're rolling the show. Well, it's great of you all to come out tonight, and I very much appreciate it. Four weeks until primary election day. We're keeping our eye on that, right? Four weeks. I got to say, you know, all the smart things I've learned today, this running club that, that makes sure that the end of the run is right at the bar. <laughs> I'm all for that. That's a great idea. <laughs> Well, listen, we've got tons of momentum in this race because are we ready for a new direction in Pennsylvania? Yes, yes we are. <laughs> listen, we've got a bunch of our friends here who've been on front lines in terms of fracking, and are we ready to have a governor, unlike the current governor, who's not a wholly owned subsidiary of the oil and gas companies? Are we ready for that? <laughs> schools and preschools, I think we're, all, we're ready also to put our children first. You know, when Tom Corbett had a decision to make, did he put a tax on the shale gas companies or does he cut a billion out of public education? He said, I'm with the Tea Party and Grover Norquist, the kids are going to lose out. Well, I will tell you, Governor McGinty will invest in those kids and those schools and get us off to a good start. And we all know, too, that you know what? You can wait a lot of tables in this great restaurant and you can work 24-7, but most kids in Pennsylvania still having a hard time paying that tuition bill. Now, I was talking to some parents here and I was saying, oh, and it's terrible. That kids graduating from college in Pennsylvania today, third highest debt burden on their shoulders. And one of the parents here said, what do you mean my kids' shoulders? <laughs> yeah, there, there goes those uh, teeing off fees that you were hoping to play a little golf, forget it. We can do different, we can do better in Pennsylvania. When I was privileged to be your environment secretary, we protected the environment and we were seventh in the country in job growth. You know, when people say, well, clean energy, and clean technology, it must just be for California and Massachusetts. Not true. We were number one in the country in wind energy jobs, second in solar. They were good manufacturing jobs. $70,000 a year with benefits and college plans for kids. That's the Pennsylvania we can be. You know, when I talk to young people in our colleges, we're number one in the country in inventing new technology, but you know what happens? The kids graduate, and do they stay here? No, Boston, Austin, and San Jose. As governor, we will, we can keep those kids here, grow those businesses here, invent the solutions to the challenges we have. That is what excites me. That's what energizes me. That's what we will get done. We will be a leading state again. And with your help, we're going to knock it right out of the park when four weeks from now, May 20th, we're going to vote for Katie. <laughs> The privilege and the pleasure I've had to serve in the White House with President Clinton and here with Governor Rendell came about because over the years I've had great friends 
who have mentored me, who have helped me every once in a while, have given me a little kick in the you know what when I wasn't exactly where I should be on an issue. But I think we all join in knowing that there is no family in this country that has represented commitment to our country and patriotism and pride in the United States of America and in the empowerment of every individual in this democracy, no family more than the Kennedy family. No person has been a greater mentor to me than my dear friend. Please welcome Bobby Kennedy.